Alright guys, well in most of my review videos I try to stay optimistic, I try to shine on the good and outline the credit where the credit is due, but unfortunately tonight's video is gonna be a little bit different, and I do apologize. And just be aware, I'm almost certain that I will piss off a lot of people making this video, and it's fine, but just keep in mind that at the end of the day all of us are entitled to our own opinion, and I'm just a random dude on your monitor at the moment who happens to have his own opinion, so just keep that in mind. And also know that the reason I'm making this video is not because I wanna throw a hate at this, but genuinely because I care about Unturned on console, and if I didn't, I would not even bother to make this video right now. So, for those of you not aware, Unturned was essentially the game that helped me sort of start roleplaying to begin with. I love the concept of it, so it's got a special place in my heart. Now, for those of you who are not aware of what's been happening lately, Unturned has been dead on console for a while. Don't get me wrong, when the game went on sale, it gained a good amount of people, but then it slowly lost them once again. But then it makes you wonder why? It's because the game is broken, and it's pretty bad. Before Elber update came out, the one previously to Elber went live approximately 4 months ago, which is not too bad if the update was noticeably impactful, unfortunately that was not the case whatsoever. I mean yes, patch 1.8 did fix a major issue like players could no longer just fall through the map out of the blue, which was great, but not only people had to bag 505 games for this bug to get resolved, it's the fact that patch 1.8 took very long time to even make its way to the console and that's what drives me crazy it was not even a major update it was just a little patch that was supposed to fix one of the biggest major issues that literally for some players just makes it unplayable so it's a reasonable excuse right and by fixing that issue they ended up breaking other things such as occasionally losing sound in certain areas being able to manipulate and duplicate a rating ammo and the game started to lose its frame rate in certain locations pretty drastically Keep in mind, those were the problems I personally experienced on my PS5, so PS4 could have been a lot worse or maybe a lot more forgiving. Who knows, you guys will definitely have to tell me down below. Listen, truth of the matter is, it was very poor, to the point where it's drastically noticeable, which ruins it for me, and this is exactly why I stopped recording my short movie project that I really wanted to get done, and don't get me wrong, I still have ambition, I still want to get it done, but when the game is in unplayable state, there is really nothing I can really do about it, so I would have to wait until it gets fixed. And since I'm willing to put everything I have into this project, I don't want to half-ass it, let alone let them ruin this for me. And for earlier, excuse my tongue fellas, that's just how I felt at the moment and that's why I decided to pursue DayZ roleplay instead. At least they respond to you within 48 hours, considering how massive the game is, and they update their game a lot frequently compared to Unturned. Ah uh, shit, I'm looking through my list right now, honestly I should have given you a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, well, you know what, let me do it right now. Warning, Ruslan is bitching a lot, some viewers might find the following disturbing. <laughs> Clearly 505 Games prioritizes other projects over on turn and it's already been said and done, not necessarily verbally, but certainly with their behavior, especially judging with how quiet they've been. Since it takes him way too long to fix these technical issues, and when I say long, I mean guys, 4 months is a long time for a patch. It's not a major update, keep in mind, this is a patch. This was supposed to make the game just playable. Just think about it, there is 12 months in a year, and if it takes you 4 months just to patch a couple things to make this game just playable, um, yeah, that's not good. Can we talk about raiding in Unturned for just a little bit? It's not even fun anymore. There's no true purpose to it, especially when you can just duplicate ammo without grinding and looking for it. It's like you find a base that took someone maybe an hour or two to make, and then you literally just instantly start raiding them because you can duplicate your ammo and take their stuff in that moment. You don't even have to reconsider it, you know, it's not like you're like, ah shit, I don't know if I can raid this base, it's like, oh, you see a base? Oh, shit, I can raid it. It might seem fun at first for you, because, you know, you just want to make that person upset, but if you put yourself in that person's shoes, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, I jumped way too far back. Let's talk about Elver update, shall we? Supposedly, Elver was going to change everything, and I definitely see what they were trying to do, and I love the mysterious idea behind it. New car models look a lot better, a lot more new items. For instance, like healing machete, that was kind of cool. Different like watermelon slices, pumpkins, all that good stuff. Even a floating safe zone right in front of you. Trees look very choppy, but maybe I just took too much of a break and I forgot how bad they look in general and maybe I just should you know, lower my standards. I love that they implemented new aesthetics, like building textures look a lot more detailed and no longer look like cardboard boxes placed around the map. 
I like that items are a lot easier to pick up now, for the most part. Once again, Elber does bring a lot of aesthetics and I really like that. For instance, candles, ceiling fans that apparently are obnoxiously loud, sound like helicopters almost. And even key cards that have like different colors to them reminds me a lot of Rust, to be honest. Okay, well, the sound is clearly still missing when you drive vehicles. Here, check this out. <laughs> this also applies to the helicopters. You know what I find absolutely funny? Is the fact that they didn't forget about the fan. Like the fan makes a lot of noise, but they forgot about the helicopter and the cars. So that was kind of funny. I've noticed the upgrading system has been increased. It requires more points now. So you gotta grind a lot more. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just noticed that that was implemented in this update. The frame rate on some older consoles has gone to shit. And this is why I said this is unplayable. Luckily, I do run this on PS5, so I got lucky on this one. But those who still run it on PS4, I feel absolutely bad for you guys. Because the game should have never been in this state to begin with. Which makes me wonder, how did this update ever get a green light to begin with? And I'm also glad that this was free. Imagine if this update was included as a DLC content and you had to pay for this. I would have been mad. But just keep in mind this update was already delayed once so what you're about to hear and see is post delay i think i have a solution for you 505 games and i promise you this will make a whole lot of sense how about you take a good amount of people from your spectacular team and let them focus on the game that's already been broken and that's already been paid for rather than ditch it and move on and work on other projects so you can make more money on those other titles. This game is free on Steam. It runs perfectly fine. It has different shaders. It has better graphics and it supports mods. So the fact that people pay $25 for the console version, that's pretty crazy to me. And I'm including myself on that list too. Honestly, I was willing to pay that much money regardless what state of play the game would have been during its first release date. I mean, I'm turned on console. I wanted this so freaking bad so i supported it no matter what and first time playing it during the release date yeah i knew it was going to be glitchy and buggy but i was willing to walk that extra mile because i figured you would too but then very recently i realized that it was never the case with you guys the game is holding up because of its supporting community perhaps the game was given to the wrong hands aka the wrong development team obviously nelson has no control over the console version and if he does i'm sure it's very minimal so when people reached out and reported that the bugs that came along with Albert map. You know what their response was? We are aware that people are experiencing problems at the moment. Give us two weeks to get them fixed. And I'm gonna post a screenshot right here. And yet they just released a brand new game, despite the fact that Unturn requires so much attention right now. Fuck that. Yeah, Georgie. Can you say it again for those in the background? Ruslan, this is pathetic. Delete it now. All right, Georgie, only if you say so. 